Welcome friends. Today we are going to see an important topic that is hydraulic efficient section also known as efficient section in open channel flow. Now in uniform flow we have seen the Manning's equation and H per Manning's equation what was the discharge? The discharge was the velocity into the area of flow. Now what was the expression for the velocity? It was 1 by the Manning's constant then hydraulic radius to the power 2 by 3 and then your bed slope to the power half. Now this area term will also come into picture because it is discharge. Now what was the hydraulic radius? It was the area divided by what? The weighted perimeter. So I can rewrite this expression as Q is equal to A to the power 5 by 3 S half right, divided by the Manning's constant and then P to the power 2 by 3. Yes. Now for a constant area and discharge or a, I can say more constant area. If the constant area, area is constant and then suppose your slope is constant, Manning's coefficient is constant. This Manning coefficient depends on what? The roughness of the uh, open channel. Right. Now if they are constant, we can see that this Q is inversely proportional to perimeter to the power 2 by 3 or I can say in general it is inversely proportional to the perimeter. That means if I want to maximize your discharge, if I want to maximize my discharge then I have to minimize my flow. I have to minimize my flow. How? Which flow? Not flow. Weighted perimeter. Sorry. Yes, some split of tongue, right? It is to minimize the weighted perimeter. So if I want to maximize the discharge or the flow, we can say, I have to minimize my weighted perimeter. Yes, yes. So this is what the concept of what? The hydraulic efficient section. Let us apply this concept of hydraulic efficient section to rectangular cross section and see what happens. In a rectangular cross section, there are two dimensions. It is the width and then the depth of flow. Now here, what is the area? Area is B into Y. Yes. Now what is the pattern perimeter? It is B plus 2Y, right? It is B plus 2Y. We don't consider this top surface because this is in, not in contact with the channel. It is in contact with the atmosphere, right? So B plus 2Y is the weighted perimeter. Right now, if I want to minimize my perimeter, yes, that is the concept of efficient section. I have to minimize my perimeter. So for p is equal to p minimum, you can see that p is a function of y, right? P is a function of y. I can say to minimize dp by dy should be equal to zero, right? This is the condition for minimization, right? Yes, dp by dy should be equal to zero. Now from this area expression area is constant so I can write down the B is what a by y right so here this expression of P becomes what a by y plus 2y this becomes the expression for what the weighted perimeter nice now see what I told that for hydraulic efficient section the weighted perimeter has to be minimum or I can say dp by dy is equal to 0 so if I differentiate this P let me differentiate this P so dp by dy is equal to 0 and what was p by the way that we got is a by y plus your 2y right this was the expression provided perimeter let me differentiate it the first term will be minus a by y square na? a difference of 1 by y is what minus 1 by y square right and difference of 2y will be 2 so this is equal to 0 or I can say area is equal to 2y square. And by the way, what is the area expression for rectangular cross section? That is what? B by y, B into y, right? For a rectangular cross section, the area is what? Width into depth. This and this is equal to 2y. So from here, I get a very important conclusion. The first conclusion for a rectangular efficient section. What conclusion I get? That width is equal to 2 times the y. Yes, the width is 2 times the y this is the first conclusion which I get. This is the first conclusion which I get. For the second conclusion, the second conclusion is we got area is equal to 2y square. Right? Now, what is the third conclusion? What will be the weighted perimeter? B plus 2y and B is itself 2y. Yes. So, I can say 2y plus 2y that is how much? 4y. 
and what you can say about the hydraulic radius it is a by p that is how much 2y square by 4y that is giving how much y by 2 so these are ladies and gentlemen the conclusions these are ladies and gentlemen conclusions for what where you can apply you can apply only for a rectangular efficient section you can apply this for what rectangular efficient section and where from where we are getting these conclusions from where we are getting these conclusions from the condition that if we want to maximize your discharge for a constant area i have to minimize the weighted perimeter or i can say dp by dy is equal to 0 so from that differentiation and conditions i am getting all these conclusions very important right so we can use all these conditions and solve some questions let me solve one question for you and i'll give one question also as homework yes so let us solve the first question the first question is a rectangular channel having manning's constant as 0.02 is to be 3 meter wide that means what this is the width given is the discharge to be passed through channel having an efficient section is given even what it's an efficient section and slope is this find the discharge it's very easy you see you have to use manning's equation so what is the manning's equation we got that was if you remember it was your 1 by n then r to the power 2 by 3 then s half into area this is what this is your discharge right this is your discharge right very good now what i can do i can write down here 1 by n in place of r i can write down what y by 2 because this is a conclusion we got for efficient rectangular channel you see r is how much y by 2 i can write down y by 2 right so here i can write down y by 2 to the power 2 by 3 then s half and then what area is what 2 y square na we got this expression right that area is 2 y square for a efficient rectangular channel 2 y square is yes. so that means you see the equation becomes very easy now what is left is to find out y how to find out y that is also very easy we know the conclusion that b is equal to 2 y right this is the conclusion of what efficient rectangular channel right and the b is given how much the b is given 3 meter b is given 3 meter if b is given 3 meter if b is given 3 meter so what happens to y y will be b by 2 that is how much 1.5 meter nice right <laughs> so we got our depth of flow yes so all these conclusions you can remember if you don't remember derive also i derived for you right i derived for you Yes, so y is equal to 1.5 meter. Very nice. Yes, nicely we got the answer. So now I got my y. I'll just put that in the equation. I'll just put that in the equation. So this is equal to 1 by n. Then y by 2. So I can take that as how much? 0.75, right? I got y as your 1.5. So 0.75 y by 2. So 0.75 to the power 2 by 3. then s s is how much by the way it is given 0.000261 to the power half right and n i can put 0.02 yes and then 2y square i'll multiply 2 into y square means what 1.5 square let us find the answer some calculation is there so it is 0.75 to the power 0.75 to the power 2 divided by 3 Yes. Then multiplied by 0.000261 to the power 0.5. Very good. Then further divide by 0.02. Very good. Then multiply by 2 and then square of 1.5 is 2.25. So I get the answer of almost 3. I am getting discharge how much from all this calculation? I am getting how much? 3 meter cube per second. See when you get such complicated calculations in the examination, I'll give you a tip. always repeat your calculation once again sometimes you might commit some mistakes so repeat the calculation let us repeat this calculation so 0.000261 to the power half and then multiplied by 1.5 square and then multiply by 2 and then further divide by 0.02 and then multiply by 0.75 to the power 2 by 3 so what i am getting i am again getting the same answer as three that means that our calculation is correct yes so you see 
this question can be a two mark question in gate yes and how nicely you solved this because you are aware of all these conclusions you see we use this conclusion we use this conclusion we use this inclusion then we use manning's equation and some common sense and some calculations and we are able to solve this question now one question i'll give you as homework you can see this question is an msq question so i'm giving you an msq question okay again rectangular efficient section that means what all this conclusion b is equal to 2y r is equal to y by 2 area is equal to 2y square and the manning's equation will be applicable so use manning's equation and all these conclusions for rectangular efficient section and then solve this question and write the answer that out of this 1 2 3 4 which one option is correct mention the answer in comment section okay mention your mention your answer in comment section mention your answer in comment section now i will tell you one thing now is this the end of all you know efficient section no in examination see rectangular section is one of the prominent uh, efficient section which they ask in the examination but after that they ask efficient triangular also they will ask you efficient circular also they ask you efficient trapezoidal also from trapezoidal there are a lot of questions right so from where you can cover that yes so yes you have covered some good uh, portions here in this video obviously but we cannot cover everything so therefore i have recorded a lot of lectures on the byju's exam prep app so if you go to byju's exam prep app okay so please go to byju's exam prep app and you can go to which section you can go to learn with video lessons yes go to what sorry the arrow should be different na? so from byju's exam prep you go to learn with video lessons so when you go to learn with video lessons what will happen you can see so many subjects are there okay you can refer other subjects also there when you see this open channel flow when you open this open channel flow right then you can see chapter wise videos will come you see uniform flow efficient sections and you know uh, critical depth then you know gbf rbf all those things will be visible and there you can cover other important topics like you see most efficient trapezoidal section and other important section also i have solved a lot of questions also you can see there is numerical session for efficient section see we solved one question and gave you one homework that is not the end of all the type of numericals so more types of numericals other sections everything is mentioned in the app and this learn with relations so please download the app and you can see other videos also so thank you very much we'll see you in some other video thank you